morning everyone and welcome. My name is Sue and this is Happy Yoga. Welcome Movadi. Coming to you live in my backyard. Thank you for joining me this morning. Good morning everyone. Good morning Louis. Good morning. Thanks for joining this morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thank you for joining. Good morning, Movadi. I'm, I'm just thought today was such a beautiful day. We would, uh, I would do the practice outside today, give you a bit of a change in scenery. Um, you might hear some birds chirping, <laughs> squirrels running by, but uh, I hope that you enjoy the outdoor practice this morning. Um, I want to dedicate this practice to positive thinking how positive thinking can affect our lives and can change uh, the way we see things. And uh, I'll be working on hips today, a little focus on hips. Thank you for joining me. Nice to see you. Good morning. I want to welcome all the Movadi members, all the non-Movadi members, anyone joining in from Edmonton this morning, welcome. I also like to encourage you to um, do some more online um, workouts tomorrow through Facebook and Instagram with all of our awesome instructors. they got some great classes lined up for tomorrow morning. So I guess we'll get started. So find a spot um, on your mat. If you have any blocks or pillows, please keep them handy, especially for hips. It can be very, very handy this morning. So let's just come to our mats. Settle in. Now, for anyone who's got uh, kind of stiff hips this morning, Feel free to use a pillow or a block to sit up and just to open up those hip flexors, those hamstrings and just find a space where you can find a little bit of peace this morning and a little bit of space to move. So good morning and welcome. Namaste. My name is Sue and this is Hatha Yoga and welcome. So glad to see you this morning. I'd like to have an intention this morning of positive thinking. Um, and if I think about Gandhi, one of our world leaders, um, in, in thoughts and in positive um, words and activities, one of the things he did say is, um, think positive thoughts as your thoughts become your words. And speak positive words as your words become your behavior. Have positive behavior as your behavior becomes your habits. Have positive habits as your habits become your values. Have positive values as your values become your destiny. So isn't that a beautiful way to start the day? Um, and uh, I hope that uh, you can carry that positive thinking throughout the day and spread kindness as we go through the day today. So let's just come into a nice space here. Settling in, sitting nice and tall, lengthening the spine, letting the hands just fall to the thighs or a thumb and first finger together in a nice mudra posture. Let the shoulders just drop down away from the ears and lengthen your spine. Sit nice and tall. Let's just close the eyes and be aware of your breath. Don't change it, just notice it. Be aware of your surroundings. Notice the intention that you have this morning. Notice the temperature in your room, the sounds. Start to bring your awareness inwards and notice how your physical body feels today. If there are any, if there are any stiffness or soreness anywhere. Bring awareness to your heart, Anahana Chakra. Notice your mood. How are you feeling? Checking in. Bring awareness to your mind. Is your mind present? Trying to stay with your thoughts here and now. 
Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Let the breath travel down in front of the spine and fill your belly, letting the belly rise. As you exhale, the belly comes down, breath travels back up in front of the spine and back out the nose. Nice deep belly breath. And as we start to breathe into that belly, engaging the diaphragm muscle, and when you breathe in, your diaphragm floats down and hugs your organs and your pelvic floor. And when you breathe out, that diaphragm floats up and hugs the rib cage, the heart, the lungs. Starting to strengthen that big breathing muscle as we breathe deep into that belly. And as we start to bring our awareness to that breath, I want you to start to lengthen your out breath. Let it be twice as long as the in breath. And every time you exhale, I want you to think of letting go of any body part, whether it be your face, your jaw, the shoulders, fingers, toes. Get rid of any tension that you may have. Let's do three more deep belly breaths here. As we're starting to settle into the practice. Keep all your awareness to your breath. And when you're ready, just open the eyes. We're going to put a focus on the hips this morning. So to start, I'd like you to bring your feet together. Hands to your feet, finding the sit bone sitting nice and tall. And let the knees flutter up and down like a butterfly, Buddha Konasana. And this gentle movement, just an encouragement to open up the hips. Create a little bit of movement there. And for a lot of us, hips can get very stiff and sore, especially if the fascia starts to thicken there and settle in. So starting to get into that fascia. We also store some emotion in the hips, like fear, anxiety. So as we start to clear things out, starting to let some of that go as well. Tension. A lot of tension stores in there. Let's bring our feet forward, come into diamond pose, breathe in and lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, I just want you to fold forward and just let everything go. Soften the shoulders, the face, the jaw. See what you can let go of here and breathe deep into the belly, ribs and lower back. Start to notice how the body feels here as we deepen our breath. Three more breaths, relaxing and letting go with every out breath. Inhale and slowly roll yourself up. Let's come up onto the hands and knees. Wrists are under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's take your right hand and left leg and extend it out. We're going to draw the elbow and knee in, draw the belly up, and then we're going to reach out and lengthen spine. So inhale, exhale, open the mouth with a ha sound. Let's do it together. Inhale, exhale, again breathe in, breathe out, two more, inhale, round that back, exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale, beautiful, bring the hand and leg down, 
let's take that right leg out to the side. We're going to let the left hand rise, reach up. The toe can touch down. If you want more, you can lift off. If you want a little more, you can bend the knee. See if you can find the foot and draw the heel in towards the butt, opening up your quadricep muscle, hip flexors. Also opening shoulder here. Opening up your heart center and ahead of chakra. Breathe deeply. And release. Let's bring that back down so that up into the hands and knees. Let's switch to the other side. Left hand, right leg. So we'll draw it in, draw the belly in. Inhale, exhale with a ha sound as we reach out. Again, inhale, exhale. Again, round in, let it go. One more, inhale, exhale. Hand and leg comes down, this time left leg comes out, right hand reaches high, let's open up, reaching high, reaching for the sun. If you want more, you can lift off. If you want more, bend the leg, see if you can find the foot and bring your heel towards your buttocks, opening up the heart center here. Putting some weight into that hand that's on the mat and pushing upwards to energize the body here. And just breathe. And release the foot. Let's come back onto the hands and knees. I'd like you to bend the elbows, bring the chest down and come through. Inhale. And as we exhale, we'll sit back into the heels in child's pose. We're starting to mobilize the spine here. So coming up onto hands and knees, we're going to come forward, bend the elbows beside the ribs. Inhale, come through. Exhale, and sit back into your heels. And again, coming down. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. One more, breathe in, come forward, exhale, and sit back on the heels. Let's come up onto the hands and knees and tuck the toes under and lift the hips high. We'll come into downward facing dog, and let's just walk the dog here, drawing the heels down, starting to lengthen out the hamstrings and the calves. As we're doing this, I'd like you to spread your fingers and push some weight into those hands. Think about drawing the belly in towards the spine to support the back. And let's draw both heels downwards. Get that beautiful length through the back of the legs, through your back here. Let's come so that we bend our knees so that the shins are parallel to the mat, lift your belly, bit of core work here, see if we can just hover, and then lift the hips and push your heels back down towards the earth. Let's do that again, we're going to come forward so the knees are off the ground, shins are parallel to the mat, lift the belly, eye gaze is down. So the neck is an extension of the spine. And lift the hips and pushing back into the heels. Let's do that again. Bend the knees. Core is nice and strong here. And pushing back into the heels. Do one more. Just starting to really warm up through the core and hamstrings and calves. And pushing back into your heels. Take your left hand to the right leg and look through. Little twist here for the spine. Stay with your breath.
release, let's switch to the other side, other hand to opposite calf, looking through the armpit, still keeping the core strong, drawing that navel inwards. Let's bring the left leg up, and let's bring it forward, and drop the knee down. Let's walk the foot out. So we're just going to get some nice stretch into the hip here. You can stay here if you like. The toe can be straight or the toes can turn out a little bit. If you have a block or any kind of prop, you can use that here. You can use it to bring your forearms on it. Get a little deeper, perhaps your forearms can come right down. So, really working into the hips here. Toes can turn outwards if that helps you. And I like you to take some nice deep belly breaths here. Starting to get into that deep fascia around the hip joint. See if you can try to relax. If this, there's any pain here in any of your joints, I want you to back off. Don't force anything. Just finding your natural edge. Listen to your body this morning. And try not to have any expectation of your practice. Whatever unfolds on your mat is all good. Now if you want more here, you can come to the outside of the foot. Let the hand come to the thigh. And you can revolve and look over your shoulder. Firefly. Nice twist through the spine here. And let's come back to center. Let your hips slide back. Let your foot come back. I'd like you to switch to the other side. So make sure your front foot and back leg are hip distance apart and the front knee is over the ankle. Try not to have your foot too far in, puts a lot of pressure on the knee. So make sure you bring it forward so the knee is stacked over the ankle here. And make sure your foot is outside your shoulder. So you may have to walk your foot out a little bit. And stay here, again, use your block where you can come down. Toes can be straight or they can turn outwards. Doesn't matter, whatever works for your hips here this morning. So allow some freedom of movement with breath. And as we breathe, having positive thoughts about ourselves, about others, and just letting all that stress go as we breathe deeper and allow, finding that beautiful inner peace this morning. Where can you soften? Where can you let go? Just a little bit more. Coming back to center and stepping back into that downward facing dog. Look forward, bend the knees. Let your right foot step forward, left foot steps in as we pull. And slowly roll ourselves up one vertebrae at a time. Coming up to Tadasana. We're going to go right into sun salutation. I want you to really focus on your breath here this morning. Breathing into the nose, down into your belly. Really deep belly breaths. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Hands rise overhead. Exhale, sit into those heels. Utkatasana. Breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to pull forward. 
Inhale, step or jump your feet back into your plank. Wrists under the shoulders. Forward and down, lower ourselves halfway. Elbows just brush the ribs. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come forward, opening your heart center. Exhale, downward facing dog. The forward left foot springs forward. Right foot turns out. Come on up. Right into our Bear Bhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Let the shoulders drop down away from the ears. Focus out past your front hand. That front knee is right over the ankle, tracking second and third toes. Your heels in line with the arch of the back foot. So just breathing, shoulders just relaxing downwards. Finding that deep belly breath, or you can use Ujjayi breath, that ocean sounding breath here. Inhale, let your front hand rise, back hand comes down the back leg. Exalted warrior. As we exhale, keep coming, revolve, and reach through. Now if you want, your forearm can hang out at the thigh here for some support, or you can reach right through. Sending both fingers away from each other, revolving and looking through the armpit. Inhale, coming back to Exalted Royer. Exhale and sink. Breathe in. And as we exhale, let the arms revolve, reach through. Again, inhale, hand rises. Exhale, reach through. Revolve, lift your back heel, foot steps back, back into your plank position. Bring yourself halfway, chaturanga. Inhale and open your heart center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot springs forward, left foot turns out, inhale and rise. Nerva drops into warrior two. Now let's see if we can sink a little deeper here. Make sure that knee is right over the ankles and push some weight in your back foot. Feel the ridge of the back foot in the mat. Reaching out, shoulders drawing downwards. Stay with your breath. Keeping your focus like a strong, powerful warrior. Inhale, front hand rises, back hand comes down, back leg. Exhale, windmill the arms through. You can stop here or reach through. Inhale, come back to exalted warrior. Exhale, bring your arms around, and start to feel the length of your spine here, from your foot, hip, shoulder, right up to your fingertips. One more time. Inhale, exalted warrior, exhale. your back heel, square hips off, back into your plank position, forward and down, chaturanga, inhale, exhale, down dog, step or jump your feet in, forward fold, sit in your heels, right into Utkatasana, breathe in and rise, lengthen the spine, exhale, hands into your heart center, namaste. Let's step your left foot back and turn yourself to face me. Toes are inwards. Inhale. And as we exhale, we're just going to fold from the hips here, letting the neck and shoulders release. Elbows are bent. And 
just trying to find some length in your spine here. So you can nod your head, yes, shake your head, no, just loosening up through the neck. And just staying with the breath. And we're coming into pyramid pose as we fold over the leg. If that's not good for you today, if you have a block, you can come forward. The thing here is we're going to try to keep that front leg straight. All right? Just a gentle bend in that knee to really work that hamstring. Then fold over. And if you want more, you can let the hands come behind and grab your forearms. And release. Let's turn and come back to center and we're going to go the other side. So your feet are about hip distance apart here. Both feet are straight. You can come high or low, your choice. And if you want more, hands can come behind and find those forearms and breathe. Step your back foot forward and gently roll ourselves up. I'd like to move to some, some balance here and I want you to think about breathing in and out and your focus. So I want you to find a place where you can use as your focal point to find your stillness. Bring your weight into your right leg, the left leg lifts. You could bring your foot uh, cross it in front, or it can come above the knee. Keep your foot flexed. Breathe in and let the hands rise. And as you exhale, let's just sit in. Just working the hips here. Finding some space. Keeping your foot flexed here to protect your knee. If you want more, you can sink a little deeper. Maybe the hands can come downwards. Your choice. Or stay where you are. Just listen to your body this morning. Stay with your breath. Slowly rising. And lifting. And release that foot and come back to Tadasana. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side. Change spots. So the other leg can come across. Toes can touch down to ground. Or it can come above the knee. Just flex your foot. Breathe in. Let the hands rise and exhale, bending that standing leg and sitting in, working hips. Again, if you want more, breathe in. And as we exhale, just gently float your arms down, let your gaze come down and finding your way. This is all up to you. Listen to your bodies and just go where the body will let you go this morning. Being positive with yourself. And knowing that if your body's not feeling that great today and you can't do some of these things, it's okay. Our bodies are different and every time we come to practice. Breathe in and rise. And bring yourself all the way up and foot comes down to Tadasana. Hips come out, breathe in, and as we exhale, let's come down right into squat, hands into heart center, elbows into the knees, sitting tall. Now, if you have a block, then you can get some assistance. Um, the other thing is you can come higher here, right, or you can come lower. You can come right into a wide leg child's pose. If that feels good for you this morning, go there. lengthening your spine, opening your heart center. So we're not tipping forward, we're lengthening. Sitting in. Oh, so beautiful to practice outside. 
so free. So nice to see all of you this morning. Thank you for joining me. If you want more, place your hand down. Let your left hand rise. Looking over the shoulder. Reaching for the sun here. Maybe touch the clouds. Letting that hand come down. Oh, the hand reaches and looking skyward. Opening that shoulder. And letting the hand come back down, hands into heart center. We'll come into a seated position, hands come in behind, let your legs come forward. Right into turtle pose. Feet come wide. Um, for some people, the first part of turtle pose is coming forward. And if you're a little bit stiffened through the hips this morning, feel free to use a pillow or a block to get your hips a little higher so that perhaps you can get that pelvic tilt and come forward a little bit easier this morning. So I want you to go um, where it feels good for you. So legs are wide, knees are bent. Breathe in and lengthen. And as we exhale, I'd like you to just come forward. Soften your face and shoulders. If you want a little more, the hands can come in behind the heel. Soften the elbows and just breathe and allow. See what the body's going to give you here this morning. Let go just a little. Backing off if you've got any pain in any of the joints, just back off a little. If you're feeling a little uncomfortable, you're right where you need to be. It's important for us to bring ourselves out of our comfort zone at least once a day. It allows our bodies to grow. Three more breaths here. what we can let go of. Your hands are extended, bring them back to center and walk them in towards your body as you slowly come up. Let's come on to the hands and knees. Up into downward facing dog. Let's lift your right leg. I like you to bend the knee and open the hip here. Just take a moment to open that hip. Forward. Let that foot come across the diagonal. And let that leg lengthen out. Keeping your foot flexed to protect the knee. And let's just lengthen the spine and come right into pigeon pose. Now this is another one where blocks can be handy. All right. You can use a block or a pillow to tuck underneath your hip here to support it. And if this doesn't really feel good at all, you can try just sitting into your hip and bending your legs at 90 degrees and come forward this way. This is a nice modification for pigeon pose. And as we start to breathe here, see what we can let go of. I want you to just think about um, your hips and your sit bones. Are they parallel to the earth or is one dipping down? So if one's dipping, try to square yourself off so that your spine can be nice and straight here. And then settle yourself in with lots of breath. This is where we can let go with mindful thinking. Thinking positively about yourself, about the day, about your breath. And I know sometimes it's not easy to let go. The more we focus on our breath, the more we can let go. more 
more deep belly breaths here. And let's walk your hands in. Bring your heel right into your hip socket here. Bend your left leg. Tuck the toe under, lift the hips high, push yourself back to downward facing dog. This time, with the opposite leg, bend the knee, open the hip, pushing into the hands, up on the toes, let that foot come across, and let the leg lengthen out. Flex your foot. That side hip if you need to this morning using the blocks or pillows as you require to help support that hip if, if you've got any pain going on there and gently bring yourself forward squaring off your hips here and finding your breath it's, it's good to be uncomfortable meaning your body's just talking to you it means that we're starting to dive in a little bit deeper into that fascia, trying to open things up a little bit. I like you to think of fascia as a corset in the body that keeps tightening as we age, keeps shrinking. Um, and so the more we can stay and breathe into some of these poses, the more we can get deeper into that fascia to see if we can get more mobility and strength in our joints. Let's do three more deep belly breaths here. Nice long exhales, softening shoulders, face. Seeing what we can let go of here. Let's start to walk the hands in. Bring your heel into your hip socket. Bend your knee, reach back, find the inside of that foot, and draw the heel towards your butt. You can sit on the opposite hip if you like, or lie on your side. Whatever option works for you this morning. And as we draw that heel in, just really feeling that beautiful length of that quadricep muscle. Getting that beautiful stretch here. Feels so good. Release that foot, and let's bring that leg around. So nice to see so many of you this morning. Welcome to my backyard. <laughs> All right, we're going to go right into boat pose, one of my favorite core postures. And I really want you to think of lengthening your spine here. Think about a string at the crown of the head lifting you upwards. So we're going to bend the legs. We're going to tip back and let the hands come around the hamstrings. Already start to engage your core and draw the belly inwards. If you bring one foot up, maybe both feet will come up. The knees can stay bent or you can lengthen them out. Hands can stay or you can reach out. Your choice. Now, as you reach out or keeping your hands there, I want you to think about lengthening here and drawing that belly in. If your legs start to shake, that's good. You're strengthening your nervous system.
How are we doing out there? <laughs> Let's bend your knees. Bring your hands around the shins and bring your belly into your thighs and lengthen your spine. Get that beautiful stretch here. So nice to see you guys this morning. All right, so one more for the hamstrings here. I want you to lean back with the hands behind your shoulders. And I'd like you to take your right leg up and bring it across and flex your foot. All right? Now this one I want you to be very mindful of how your body feels today. So the more you can lengthen out that other bent leg, the more you open your hip, the more you bend it up, and the more you walk your hands in, the more you start to really work that hip. So what, however your hip feels today, this is a nice one where you can really modify depending where your bend is in the leg. Right? Try to keep your sit bones down. Try not to lift your butt here. Right? And it's almost like an accordion. You're, you're just drawing your, your chest towards your legs, your heel is towards your butt, and that knee is gently pressing away, flexing your foot here to protect your knee. Okay? This is a big stretch. So breathe into this one. <sighs> Think about lengthening your spine. Beautiful. Let's release. Let that leg go. We're going to switch to the other side. All right? So bringing the other leg across, flex your foot. We'll, we can start with the foot extended out a little bit, and then gently start to bring in your heel towards your buttocks, maybe walking your hands in a little closer to your butt and lengthening. Sit bones are down. Nice long spine. Breathe. <laughs> this, is a, this is a deep stretch, so breathe into this one. Ah, yeah. You've been doing any yard work? Your hips may be a little sore, right? A little stiff, maybe. And your knees. And perhaps your whole body. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's let the foot extend out. And now we're just going to extend the legs out. We're going to do a nice forward fold. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale. Just letting everything go. See what we got here. Soften. <sighs> Inhale and slowly roll yourself up. And now let's do our well-deserved Shavasana. So we're just going to gently roll ourselves back here. Come into our corpse pose. Legs, legs are extended. Toes turning out. Hands out to the side with the palms facing up. I want you to think about the shoulders getting heavy and drawing downwards. Just to let the body just melt into the earth here. If your back's a little tender today, feel free to bend your knees. Bring your knees together, feet apart. Or feel free to lie on your side if that's more comfortable for you this morning. I just want you to take some time now for yourself to breathe and uh, explore the body with your breath. And every time you're breathing here, I want you to think about a beautiful long out breath. I want you to think of something really positive about yourself, about your life family, others, something positive in your life right now. Positive thoughts bring positive words, brings positive behavior, positive habits, brings positive values, and positive destiny. Words by Gandhi. Can you let your muscles start to get heavier as they start to melt down into the earth? And notice how you feel. Notice your mind. Is your mind here and present? Notice your heart center. How are you feeling in this moment? 
with every breath noticing the navel rising and falling. I'd like you to start wiggling your fingers and your toes. Bend your knees and bring one leg in, followed by the other, and let your arms wrap around your legs. Give yourself a nice big hug. And let the knees circle around in a small circle. A little massage for your back. And circling around in the opposite direction. When you're ready, roll yourself onto your side and gently make your way up to a seated position. Just take your time finding your way there. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's such a beautiful day. I hope you have a chance to get out and join the sunshine. Let's just bring our hands into our heart center. I honor the place in you that is of love, light, peace, respect, and positivity. When you're in that place, and I'm in that place, we are one. Namaste. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for joining me this morning. Don't forget to check out our wonderful instructors tomorrow morning on Instagram and Facebook. My Mobati family, it's so nice to see you this morning. Thank you all for joining. Nice to see you. Big, big love support for you all weekend. I hope to see you again next week. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. So my backyard, I didn't know if I was going to have any birds join us this morning. We've got a bird bath right here, and there's a lot of birds that come and bathe. So I was thinking I might have some visitors from my class this morning. <laughs> nice to see you all. You're welcome, Louis. Thank you. And get out and enjoy the day. This is so beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the support and the hearts. So nice to see all of you this morning. You guys all have a great day. I'll see you next Saturday, and maybe we can do it again. I'm hoping we're going to have this great weather. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye now.